Oh my goodness me, I am so nervous for this. Hi guys, welcome back to Meals Life. Today, I'm going to be doing a really, really fun makeup challenge. This may be fun, this may be slightly, I don't know. I haven't got very high expectations for this. So today guys, as you probably can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I am going to be doing a full face of makeup without bonding anything. This is gonna just be so Oh, just crazy and weird, guys. Like, some of these things I don't even know, like, what foundation? Like, I'm just gonna have splotches all over my face because that's how you, I usually do my foundation. So basically, guys, what I'm going to be doing today, I'm gonna do my makeup the exact same as I would normally, but without burning, obviously. But guys, if you are new around here, make sure to click subscribe to become a Mircon. So without further ado, guys, let's get on to the video. So, first of all guys, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. primer and usually what I do with this is I get a bit on the back of my hand, oh that's probably like this, and then I will just get a little splodge, a little splodge there, a little splodge there, a little splodge there, and then I'll blend it in. But today guys, I am not going to be doing that, I am just going to leave it like that. I guess that is my primer done, like I need to, I feel like I need to blend it in, but I can't, that will ruin the challenge. So guys, now I'm going to be doing foundation, so I'm going to be using my NYX foundation. Right guys, so how I usually do my foundation is I just squeeze a little bit onto the back of my hand, and as you probably can tell guys, I am running a little bit low on this foundation. Probably need to get a new foundation, I actually haven't got that much on my hand. Usually I put more than this on, so I may put some more on afterwards, but what I usually do is I get my beauty blender, some of the product, and then I just like, pat it on my forehead, on the sides of my face, like on my cheek, nose, and then a bit on the side of my face. And then I usually put a little bit on my chin as well, like that. And then I go around with my beauty blender, I blend it. But today, we don't have time for blending. We are just going to move on to the next product. Oh my goodness, guys, this feels really weird on my face, like just weird and uneven and just not right. So guys, now I'm going to be doing concealer, and I'm going to be using some of my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I just usually put this under a little bit under my eye, then a little bit on my nose, then some on my forehead, like this. I sometimes put some on my side face, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that as well. And then I blend it. We're not doing any blending today, so let's move on to setting powder. Guys, I'm really nervous about this because I feel like now I'm actually gonna be using some brushes and I'm gonna be using my Spectrum brushes, which aren't cheap. And I feel like they're definitely going to get broken in the process. They're definitely gonna need a wash after this anyway. Right, so I'm gonna get my Bare Minerals powder and I'm just gonna sweep a little bit of that on. And then usually what I do is I like to pat it on and then I blend it out. So I don't feel like this is gonna be too bad and I reckon this is probably gonna make the other products feel a bit better. And I usually just put this all over my face and then I'll pat it and then usually I swirl it around. But obviously guys, we aren't gonna be doing that today. So I'm just gonna get as much product as I can, as much product as I usually do. Sometimes I like to tap a little bit out into the lid here. This is really weird guys. Now some of you guys may be wondering where I I am right now. You're, you might be like, Mia, where on earth are you? What on earth is this sofa? Why do you have such a horrible background? Well, I mean, this background isn't too bad, but it's not the best background that I have ever had. Basically, guys, I am no longer in Creation Station 2.0. I'm in Creation Station 3.0. In other words, we moved house, yes guys, and I am currently in the future studio room, and I will be filming my videos in my bedroom, not in here, and this guys isn't finished yet either, but my bedroom is like, it literally is just a mattress on the floor, and that's it so far. But yeah guys, my room is gonna be absolutely amazeballs because my auntie Harriet, my Pugalicious life, will be coming around and like doing my room. I don't know what she's gonna be doing it, but what she's gonna be doing in there, but she's gonna make it absolutely amazeballs, of course. Right guys, Anyways, now I'm going to move on to bronzer. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using my W7 bronzer. And I'm quite nervous about this because I'm quite pale and this bronzer is quite dark. But once you blend it in, it's usually okay. Once you blend it in though, that's the thing. So I'm going to just put this on the side of my face. And then usually I'll just go over 
and do this. And then usually I kind of blend it in with circular motion. We're not doing that today. I'm just gonna go like that. It's gonna look a bit weird. I like to go down my neck because like I said, this is quite a dark bronzer. It does need to like, your neck really needs the bronzer as well. And I'm being really careful not to like, try and blend it in, but it's kind of like really tempting to blend it in because I'm just like, Mia, what's it up? What's going on with your makeup right now? Okay, that's my bronzer done. I feel like this is actually moving really quick. Usually when I do these makeup videos, it takes me forever because of all the blending. But today I have to do blending, so it's gonna be really quick and easy to do. <laughs> right, now guys. Oh my goodness me, I am so nervous for this. I don't know what to do about this, right? Now this blusher I don't use every day. It's quite a dark blusher, as you can see. What I usually do is I get a tiniest, tiniest bit. And then this blusher needs the most, like, the most amount of blending you have ever seen. Because guys, it's basically a blush Bay. So it's from the body shop and it's actually a really nice color. Cuban watermelon and it's really pretty. So what I usually do is I smile and then I put a little tiny dot and then I usually blend it out like and even then it's really dark and pink on me. I probably should have gone for a lighter shade when I bought this. It was on sale and I was just like, let's go crazy Mia. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on than I usually do, just because not, it won't really look like blush, it'll just look like I've got a weird pink dot. This, guys, by the way, is way more than I would usually use. It's just because, basically, I want it to actually look like blusher rather than just a pink dot. Even though it still looks like a pink dot. But you can see what I was trying to do with it, you see? So, guys, so far, so bad. Oh, my goodness. This blusher is just... Why didn't I decide to use my powder blusher? Then it would have probably come out way better because I just usually pat it on, then I blend it out. Doesn't really need much blending. But this guy's is crazy. But anyway, now we are going to move on. What are we going to do now? I think we're going to do eyebrows now. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my W7 eyebrow. And guys, I have had some very bad eyebrow days, but I have a feeling this is probably going to be one of the worst. So what I usually do when I do my, oh my goodness, my eyebrows is I'll do like a line and then I'll I'll do like a line, a thin line down the bottom and then I'll blend that out because I don't like to do my eyebrows too heavy. I'm gonna do the line. There we go. So this is usually how I do my eyebrows. I'll do like the line with my natural brow shape and then I will blend it out a bit. I'm gonna do that on the other side. Sometimes I like to do it a little bit in the head here, the head of my eyebrow. Like that! And then I obviously will go through with my brush and blend it out. But obviously today we are not doing any blending, so I am just going to leave it like that, guys. Now, guys, I'm going to be doing highlighter. And I have some sad news. My Too Faced highlighter! It broke. Luckily, it's still usable because I've managed to actually keep the powder highlighter intact. It's fallen out of its tub. So now I have to be super careful with this and I'm so sad because it's my Too Faced highlighter, guys. Honestly, I don't even know what I did. It didn't even happen in the move. It happened before it. It was just in my makeup bag one day and then I opened it up and it was broken. And I was just like, why? It was really sad, guys. Anyways, I'm going to get a bit of my highlighter, my brush, and then I'm just gonna sweep it on. But as you can see, the blusher is kind of in the way. I'm not gonna do like, I'm gonna try and avoid blending. But it's kind of difficult. I don't really, you don't really blend highlighter that much. I guess maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like pat it on, because that way you're not blending. Oh, I better be careful because of the blush. Oh no, I've got the blush on my highlighter. Right. Now I'm gonna do my nose. And there we go, that's highlights. Actually, no, I need to do above and below my eyebrows. Can't forget the eyebrows. There we go, and as you can see, my highlighter brush really needs the washing because it's got blusher on it, sorbet blusher on it. Anyways, guys, now what I'm going to be doing is my eyeshadow. I am going to start off with the W7 Eye Eco. <laughs> I'm gonna get my Eco Tools brush. I'm just going to pat this onto my eyelid, like so. And usually I blend it out after this. But obviously, guys, we're not doing any blending today, right? So I'm actually planning on doing a sort of unicorn look because I just really wanted to see what it'd look like unblended, like how unicorn tastic it's gonna be. Now I'm gonna put this away because I only like to use. Oh yeah, guys, I didn't show you the shade I'm using. So I'm just using the lightest one, which is the shade Beachy. Now I'm gonna be getting my 
Midnight Unicorn palette from Makeup Revolution. And I'm gonna be getting this eye contour one. And I'm gonna get this pink color here next to the white. I'm gonna put that in my crease. It isn't actually that high pigmented. As you can see, there's not very really much difference, which I love for my transition shade because with a crazy look like this, you don't want like a really bright transition shade. Right, there we go. And now what I like to do is I like to go back to my Eco Tools brush. And then I like to do underneath my eye without blending. I'm just gonna pat it on. I haven't done this unicorn look in a couple of days. So I can't quite remember how I did it. Now I'm gonna be getting my Spectrum brush. This is the like, this is the brush B06. It's like a sort of fluffier brush. And we're gonna get this really bright pink here. And I'm gonna put that just in the center of my lid, like slightly to the corner here, like so. And usually I really like to blend this in because it's a very bright color and that's why I use such a fluffy brush for this. Really good for blending. But of course guys, no, not today. Of course I'm not going to be doing blending today. Hmm, what color should I do now? I'm gonna go back to the transition one. I'm gonna get this purple here and I'm gonna put that next to the pink. Transition it to a nice purple. Go and now I'm gonna get the same brush here. Actually, no, no, I'm gonna get my Eco Tools brush. I'm gonna get this purple here, and then I'm just gonna pat this on. Guys, this probably isn't like the best makeup like unicorn look, but I personally really like this look. Obviously, it looks a lot better when you blend in. Because you guys have been asking how I do my unicorn look, so I like to get my eye contour brush again, and then I like to get. So it came this blue. Yeah, I like to get a little bit of this blue and just. Pat it into the corner there, and usually I'll blend it out. And there we go, that is my unicorn eyeshadow look completed. As you know, not quite completed. Usually I'll get my spectrum brush again and just blend it all together with the pink. Because with mine, I feel like out of all of these colors, the pink pink is the color that looks best on me. So that's the one I like to mainly focus on. But what, yeah, what I do now is I like to get this white on my finger actually, because I find I have the best, like the most product. And then I like to go under my eyebrow. Ta -da! So that is my eyes done. Now I'm going to be doing mascara. And first of all, I'm obviously gonna curl my eyelashes. Oh, what happened to my little eyelash curl a bit? Bit fell off, you know, the rubber bit. Curl my eyelashes. And when you curl your eyelashes, you don't blend anything. Because you don't blend your eyelashes. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna not. I don't understand why you would blend your eyelashes. Do you guys blend your eyelashes? I don't think anybody does. Now with mascara, you don't blend it either. I mean, I guess you kind of do a bit. You put it on and then you can kind of like brush it through and make it, I don't know. But I'm gonna be using my MUA. It's pretty much almost black. I probably need to get a light one because uh, for a normal day use, this is too dark for me. I'm just gonna put it on my eyelashes. I'm gonna open up the mirror. I need the mirror. I need a mirror. I can't use a viewfinder for mascara. Okie dokie, that's my mascara done. Not too bad actually, not too bad. The eyeshadow hasn't come out as bad as I was expecting it. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. If I had a brush now and I blended it, it wouldn't be too bad. Now guys, what I'm going to do is I am going to do lips and then that will actually be the last thing for this challenge that I would have done full face. So you don't really blend this out. So I, I'm just gonna put this on like normal. I need a proper mirror. It looks like a filter, but it's not actually a filter. So I usually just go around the edge of my lip center. Then I'll like go like that and blend it out, but I'm not doing that today. There we go, guys. Um, the lips still don't really like, it just looks kind of normal. But guys, this is the finished result. I have actually done a full face without blending. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, there's highs and low points of this. The eyeshadow doesn't look that bad. Like if I just got my brush now, blended it together, it wouldn't be that bad. Eyebrows need blending, but they could be workable. This blush though, I honestly just, I don't know. I don't know, this blush up is just so bad. The contour, like the bronzer, <laughs> is so dark, so, so dark. Right guys, so I have an idea, very interesting idea. So I really, I'm hesitant to do this because I have a feeling my beauty blender is probably gonna get ruined. I really wanna try blending it all out now and see what happens. I don't know why, I just really want to, so. Here it goes. Oh, it's not really blending. I feel like, oh my goodness, it's gone all like hard and it's like, I think it's been 
on my face for so long. It's like hardened up. I feel like my beauty blender needs even more dampening. Really need to damp it even more. By the way, guys, when I said dampen it even more, I mean wet it even more. Don't ask me why I said that. Right, guys, I feel like it may be a bit better now. I mean, usually I don't blend all my makeup out with a beauty blender. You know, it's another interesting experiment to try. But the concealer and foundation is not. It's just saying, oh my goodness, this bronzer. Bronzer, oh my goodness me. Okay guys, so this is what happens. I feel like I've got the brush in my eye. But guys, this is what happens when you do a full face of makeup without blending it, and then you try to blend it afterwards. It doesn't work, guys. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are new around here, make sure to click subscribe to become a hashtag makeup Comment down below what type of phone you have. I have a Samsung S8. Go, go, go. Or if you don't have a phone, comment down below what device you're watching this on. Is it a laptop? Where is this device? I'd be really interested in knowing this because most of you guys that watch my videos on your phone, so that's kind of where the questions stem from. But some of you guys may not have phones, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will see you guys in my next